Hey guys, this is Mike from Mike's Office, and today in this tutorial we're going to review some of the first things that you're going to cover in the Microsoft Office Specialist Word Core exam. Things like themes, style, style sets, margins, borders, and other things in the design tab. So in this video we're going to cover the first few steps that you'll uh, do in your Microsoft Office Specialist uh, Word Core exam. But if you want to see the video on the whole thing, uh, my, I have a whole video on everything covered in the Microsoft Office Specialist Word exam. So just click on the link above and you can go to that one if you want to see the whole thing. But in today's tutorial, like I said, we're going to just focus on the first few steps, namely the um, going over a few parts of the design tab. So I just have to make a few things clear before we get started. Um, just to clarify things. So these are in Word. This is the styles group here, the styles gallery. And the difference between style, we'll see the difference between styles and style sets. So styles in the home tab here are detailed and predefined styling for text elements. So certain parts of the text, but not the whole document. You have to highlight, uh, let's say the, we want to make this the title. I would highlight that, click on the title font, and that would be the style of just this one specific part of the document. Now if we go to the design tab, this is called style sets or document format in the document formatting group. So these are style sets within the document formatting group and this applies a style set to the whole text within a document. So this will allow you to quickly change the look and the feel of the document. And then there's also themes in the design tab. So themes, there's three parts to them. The color palette, and you have one here. The theme font, or the font styles, and the effects. So the themes will take those three things and there's different you know, colors, fonts, and effects within these themes. Or you can individually pick out different colors, fonts, and effects for yourself. So that'll come up in the next few questions. The first question is to modify the margins. So that's actually in the layout tab or if you're using an older version of Word, uh, the page layout tab under margins drop arrow. And normally they would ask you to just change it to narrow. So you would just click narrow, but this one looks like from the instructions they want custom margins. So we just click custom margins and then just follow the instructions uh, in the bullet points here. So top says 0 0.5 inches, bottom says 0 0.5, so we'll just type that in, uh, left is 0 0.8, and the right margin is 0 .0 0.8, so we're shrinking the, the margin a little bit, um, allowing us to go a little bit wider on our text in the document, and just make sure that the whole doc applied to the whole document. Okay, so apply to the whole document, press OK, and the font or the words stretch out a little bit. So that's that would be something like step one. They always try to get you to change the margins first. Now this one's a little tricky. Like I said, you have to know um, what it's really asking for. It's not asking you to change the whole theme, just the theme font. So in the design tab, we wouldn't go to change the theme, and it's not a style set, it's a theme font. And we'll change the theme font to actually Arial. So the theme font Arial. And it changes it to applies it to the whole document. And see how now your text is Arial here, so it worked. And that's all they want you to do. That's step two. And then create a page border, which is also in the design tab. So design. And then go to the page border, which brings up the borders and shading dialog box. And now you can choose, okay, so the setting is box. The color is blue accent one. So the theme color, blue accent one. And the width is, sometimes you'll have to change this, but we don't have to, half point. And make sure that it's applied to the whole document as it asks us to, so press OK. And now we have our page border. And then apply a style to the text. So don't get this confused with the style sets here. This is in the home tab that they're asking for. So in the home tab we go to they want us to apply the heading one style to a few of the headings so days of the week 
Adding one. Adding one. And adding one there. That's okay that the text move. And now we're going to go to the other headings. Uh, facts about 77. And apply heading two and heading two to this one as well. So we're applying different styles to the headings. And then you can also modify styles. Right, it doesn't mean you're actually going to apply it, it just means we can affect the um, style for later. So modify this the style here. And they want us to, so without clicking on anything, uh, I might change that while I have my mouse hover over, but I won't change this forever. I'm just going to right click on the title style. So we're modifying the title style by right clicking on it, clicking modify, and then just change the font color to blue accent one. Okay, and you can change other formatting like size um, and a few other things. You can also go into the format tab as well, but fo format drop arrow. Uh, and then, yeah, but that's all they want us to do. Change the modify the style so that if we ever were to apply it, it would look like that. Okay, but we're not going to apply it. It didn't ask us to, so. Uh, and that's how you modify a style. Uh, just a few things in the design tab, just in case you're asked to do them. Um, this would be how to insert a watermark and you've got a few uh, template watermarks here you could also create your own water watermark so let's say they asked us to put a picture in the background or add a text uh, watermark so text could be yeah rough copy something like that or the company logo in the background something like that you could do that as well apply and there it is rough copy on each page Okay, so that's how you would apply a watermark as well. So, and we've done a page. Oh, we could also change the page color. Let's say if you had like the blue theme going on. So you could change the page color. Uh, you could do fill effects, different fill effects as well. And then we also use the page border, but you can do shading and other things with the border as well. And that's it for the uh, design tab and some of the first few questions in your Microsoft Office Specialist uh, Word Core exam. I hope this is helpful in mastering at least the first few questions or of the MOS exam uh, for the core word and maybe even learning a little bit more about the design tab. So I'll upload some more videos, uh, word tutorials like this one. While you're waiting, you can check out these videos and if you haven't already, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. So just click here and subscribe. And thanks for watching.